Hey, so in this video, I would like to show you how you can figure out what's slow or stuck in QPath uh, using a fantastic tool called Visual VM. So sometimes in the forum, people say about QPath is taking too long or it's, it's stuck on something. And often what I want people to do is to use this tool called Visual VM. Um, it's freely available, so here you can download it. Um, and so I'll put a link uh, there. It's not going to show how to download and install it, but I'm just going to show something that it can do, which is almost magical. Um, so here I've got QPath open, I've got an image running, and I'm going to run um, cell detection uh, across the different regions, but I want to know what exactly is going to take a while. So I'm going to open Visual VM, and you can see that under here in this local tab, it has links to a few different things, and actually it's somehow been able to spot the QPath is there. Uh, there's different options in here, but the one we care about, because we're cared about performance and why things are slow, is CPU sampling. So let's go on to sampler, let's press CPU, and then something is happening. If I zoom in and out, it's actually telling me what all the different threads of QPath might be up to. And if I go into these, um, you see it takes you quite deep down here. It's not necessarily obvious what exactly is going on, um, but let's press run on the image run cell detection across all of the regions. And what you should see is that more threads start to appear and they start to be active. And these threads are taking quite a lot of time in the processor. And if I expand these out, they are running QPath's so-called watershed cell detection command. I do really regret the naming of that because people think it's just a watershed transform and actually there's quite a lot more going on. Um, but this is able to show you what exactly is taking the processing time while we're waiting for QPath to finish. If I click on this view, um, I can see hotspots and that can link me to where exactly um, the main time is being spent, like specifically what uh, operations. And so this cell detection in QPath, it started off that I'd written an ImageJ plugin, then I adapted it. So then it uses ImageJ, but it doesn't actually run as an ImageJ plugin. And, but it uses some internal features of ImageJ. One of them is the rank filters. And so here you can see there's actually one of those commands um, within there, uh, which has taken most of the processing time. Uh, QPath is just about finished. The cells have now resolved and appeared. But if I head back to Visual VM, this actually allows us to unpick exactly where the process has been taking. Um, I can dig deeper down and the length of these bars give me some idea of what's the slowest and the total time um, tells me how long everything is taking. And so this is basically taking me through the QPath code and through individual methods of the QPath code um, to find out which might be slow. So there you can see the estimate background takes a relatively large amount of the processing time there, about 16 seconds in total. Um, the watershed transforming QPath is taken um, close to 15 seconds. And then there are some other steps in here as well. And this shows specifically uh, where individual lines might be hotspots. As I look at this, I'm looking for specific threads which are active. Um, some threads are active the entire time, but you can see from this total time CPU, they're not actually using much processing time. So the threads are there and they could potentially be doing something, but they often aren't, they're just waiting there. Um, so we want to look at the CPU, the total time CPU column to find out where QPath is really busy. Region store is what QPath um, is generating threads in order to request um, different regions, uh, like the, the tiles to show in the viewer. Um, this task runner is where most of the work was done. So if QPath is stuck, I recommend try a Visual VM. It gives you the opportunity to go in here and then look for where you get high values in here, indicating that lots um, of work's being done. And then you can expand out and then you can start to see where QPath might be especially busy. You can also do stuff like this, like monitoring the memory usage and see that how that performs over time. You can run the garbage collector in order to try and reclaim a bit of memory. You can even press on a heap dump and then that will take a little bit of while to calculate, but that is able to then tell you really um, where the memory is being used at an individual object level. So it's giving you loads of different information, but the quite exciting near magical thing is that it runs completely independently of QPath it's able to spot the QPath is there and then it's able to see what is going on. This heap dump is going to take a while, so I'm not going to wait until that's finished. You can also see which threads are active. So if there is some nasty bug in QPath's code and there's a deadlock, you might be able to spot it in here. Um, you can do a thread dump as well to see what all the threads are up to. Uh, 
probably it was a bad mistake to try to do this at the same time while the heat dump is going um, but the principle hopefully is clear enough that it's worthwhile dining loading Fizzle VM if you're reporting uh, that the things are slow within on the forum then using this can give you the tools to investigate why they might be slow otherwise I'm probably going to ask you to send us images, send us examples, and then we replicate it. And then I'll just be doing exactly this process of running with CPU sampling in Visual Video. Okay. Hope this is helpful. And I will probably link to this video if questions are asked in the forum or if Visual VM would help. And I hope that more people will start using it themselves so that they can spot bottlenecks in QPath themselves. Okay. Thank you.